Norwegian Lapland. 2,000 Sami make their living here by herding nearly 200,000 reindeer. For centuries, these nomads of the Great North moved around these vast virgin spaces as dictated by the seasons. Today, reindeer herding is coming up against the modern world, and the Sami people could see one of their oldest traditions disappear. The Sami are nomadic reindeer herders whose wealth is defined by the size of their herd. They practice extensive herding, which involves great seasonal movements of reindeer as they look for grazing. In summer, the herds move to the north along the Norwegian coastline. In winter, they move back south, feeding on lichen in the sparse pastures of the tundra. In Norway, reindeer herding is restricted to the Sami in order to protect their culture and their traditions. They use the meat for butchering and the antlers and hide for craft work. This whole fragile economy relies on these timid animals. This is a sensitive period. The females of the herds will soon give birth and they can only do so in calm conditions, unwatched and away from noise. It's hard to imagine that these hectares of frozen ground conceal pastures. And also snowmobile tracks. When they move about with their animals, the Sami herders fear these risky areas. If a female was scared by one of these machines as she gave birth, she would abandon the car. That would be a financial loss. For a Sami, his animals are often all that he owns. Another danger also threatens the herds the roads. Sooner or later, the reindeer will have to cross them, and any animal could be hit. On this main road, not far from the North Cape, about a hundred reindeer are killed every year. In the past, the reindeer could come and go along the natural tracks. Over time, roads, construction and snowmobile tracks have changed habits in the Great North. Construction is a problem. This road goes from Alta to the dam. It's meant that lots of people have come to the mountains and they've built chalets or campsites. If they built the dam down there, the road wouldn't have come as far as this. What do the Norwegians want? It's not fair that they come to play in our pastures. It's like us going to play on the farmer's land on our quad bikes or snowmobiles. You see the tracks up there? They're not allowed to drive like that. The reindeer are the ones entitled to be on the mountain. No one else. On these frozen lands, the reindeer are at home. The Sami know that. They're the ones that decide. The reindeer follow the food, and the Sami follow their reindeer on snowmobiles. That's how things were up till now, but times are changing. In this area, reindeer cause real problems for farmers. Apparently, there are too many animals for the limited grazing. 
When the reindeer come at night, they do a lot of damage before we arrive in the morning. And this happens every year. The problem in Finnmark is that there are far too many reindeer for the amount of grazing. It's all the fault of the authorities, because they haven't managed to cut the number of reindeer. Years ago, the authorities said there should be no more than 75,000 reindeer in West Finnmark. And there are maybe 150 or 160,000. There isn't enough for them all to eat. On one side there are the Samai herders, and on the other, the farmers. And in the middle, the reindeer police. Seven patrols of two men scattered across Norway. At the end of the war, the German troops carried out a scorched earth policy in Lapland. The people were hungry. Reindeer thefts became more frequent. The Samai herders asked the authorities for help. In 1949, the reindeer police was formed. Steiner is Norwegian. Fascinated by the history of the Samai people, he asked to transfer to the reindeer police. It's pretty certain that the tribe that came here around 10,000 BC were the ancestors of the Samai. We Norwegians came much later, when farming was developed. You could even go so far as to say that where the immigrants here, and not those who lived here before. The task of this police force is to prevent conflicts related to reindeer herding. These police officers are a long way from everything, even the cliches about the police. They're diplomats of the tundra who propose more than they impose. The reindeer are a long way off over there. There's no problem, towards stubbornness. The autumn looks as if it could be difficult. For the last few days, a big dispute has been brewing between herders. Some herds that went to spend the summer on the rich pastures of the Northern Islands will soon be returning south. Two huge herds might get mixed up. It's a mission for the reindeer police who will try to help the herders come to an agreement. Given the distances, the mobile phone is an essential tool for reaching the herders lost somewhere in the tundra. The herder who was on Magoroya over there has about 8,000 reindeer. About 10 days ago, he got his reindeer to swim across the sound to this peninsula. And there's fencing containing the reindeer here. But now the reindeer have been eating there for 10 days, and there's hardly anything left to eat. So the reindeer are starting to move towards the fencing, because they want to go south and start the seasonal migration. The problem is that there are other herders to the south of them with a herd of 12,000 reindeer. At the moment, they're branding their calves, and they'll never agree to let the others pass until they finish their branding. The two big herds mustn't get mixed up. The police hope that their intervention will help the two parties reach an agreement. A few days later, a phone call that they hardly expected told the police officers that the herders had reached an agreement. The two herds, over 20,000 reindeer in total, would not be mixed up. This time, an incident was avoided. But sometimes the Samai herders resort to firearms. John will remember one Christmas night for the rest of his life. Things went wrong after a chase. He said I wasn't allowed to come here. It was his land. He was drunk and he started arguing. Someone came and shot at the hut. You could say it was a warning of something like that. John was shot under the left shoulder blade. The other man got a year in prison. In this inhospitable tundra, there are no angels.
Although conflicts do exist, most of the Samai know that working together produces better results. In the autumn, the herds move towards assembly points. The animals are then sorted. The work requires a lot of care on the part of the Samai herders. Every reindeer carries the mark of its herder. The skill for the men is in spotting their mark. Day and night, the animals are counted. They separate the males, the females, and the ones that are destined for slaughter. In spite of their apparent tameness, the reindeer are only partially domesticated. Managing big herds that are at liberty isn't an easy task for the Samai. So in order to make better use of grazing and to control their animals better, some herders have decided to make up smaller herds. For the Samai people, herding reindeer isn't just a job, it's a way of life. It's expensive to keep a herd. Today, they need a lot more animals than in the past if they want to make a living for their family. Too many reindeer on disputed grazing land seems to be an impossible equation in an environment as extreme as this one. It's a gloomy picture for many herders. In spite of help from the Norwegian government, the Samai are under threat. Let's hope that these legendary herders of the Great North can lead their reindeer along the paths of freedom for a long time to come. <laughs>